Hey my dudes, it's Caitlin and today I'm telling you guys all of the tips I have for making your online class endeavors as efficient and successful as possible. So there will be three phases to success in this video. Phase one is preparation, phase two execution, and phase three is about keeping up. Before we get started, don't forget to follow my socials linked in the description and check out my merch that just came out. And with all that being said, let's get into the video. So phase one is all about preparation, and the first step is making a schedule and actually using it. When classes are online, it is even easier to miss assignments, and a schedule will definitely help ensure that you do not miss anything that is due. And if you don't have a physical planner, there are plenty of free apps that have calendar templates, and you can plan your entire month or you can plan a week at a time. Some planner templates even allow you to plan down to the hour. I suggest using the year calendar template. Use your syllabus and any class schedules to fill in your calendar. I personally use the checkbox option so I can check things off as I do that. Them. Fill in when you have to attend classes online. I put assignments due and exams in red so that they stick out from the rest. And be sure to add in any other commitments such as when you work or any appointments that you have so they don't get in the way of your online classes. Before we move on, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Grammarly. I've been a Grammarly user for over a year now and it has helped me to be so much more efficient in school which is why I'm so so glad that I'm collaborating with them. If you don't already know, Grammarly is an online tool that can help you with any writing you do in your day to day life. The free version can help you with minor grammar mistakes, punctuation errors, and simple things like that, but when you upgrade you can do so much more such as set a desired tone and intent behind your writing or run plagiarism checks. Grammarly even gives you an overall score based on correctness, clarity, engagement, and delivery of your writing. Grammarly Premium is $29.95 a month, but if you get the annual subscription it is only 11.66 a month i know that some of you are on tight budgets so today i'm giving you guys a 20 percent off grammarly premium discount link be sure to use that link that's in the description grammarly.com forward slash caitlin films to sign up and start making your online learning process so much more efficient you can sign up and use grammarly's basic tools for free but upgrading is so worth it because of the in-depth writing insights they have i personally use grammarly for scholarship applications emailing professors written assignments class discussion posts and so on my favorite part about upgrading to premium is that I can basically see analytics about my writing, which really helps me because I love seeing the data behind what I'm doing. The overall score tells you so much, such as how long the reading or speaking time would be, the readability of your writing, and how your vocabulary stacks up against similar papers. Throughout the video, I will be sure to tell you guys how to incorporate Grammarly as a tool when taking your online classes. The next step is to create a designated online class and studying area. A designated area that is not your bed will help you to be more productive. I'm pretty sure there have also been studies that suggest separating where you sleep from where you study is beneficial. Clean and organize your designated area so that it is functional and free from clutter. If you think that it will help you get motivated, decorate your study area with things that inspire you or just help you enjoy being there more. I have a mini vision board and that makes me feel a lot better. So phase two is all about execution. The first step, which a lot of people recommend, is getting ready for the day. I don't personally do this because I focus best when I'm in comfortable clothes, but a lot of people suggest getting dressed or doing your makeup. If you feel like this will help you get ready for the day and help you be productive, then do this to get started. The next step is to attend every online lecture in real time. Even if online lectures are recorded, you should attend them in real time because this is a lot of time for you to do the lecture so take advantage of that and hold yourself accountable you're much much less likely to fall behind this way the next step is to eliminate distractions turn off any notifications on digital devices that you are using any notifications will be distracting when you're studying or attending lecture if you have to literally put your phone away when working online to ensure that you're not tempted to use it if you don't want to put away your phone download the flora app and set a timer for the length of the class or how long you plan to study before your next break if you are still tempted it's an option to put money at stake if you break the timer and you'll literally have to pay for it so that might help some of you <laughs> next i'm going to be talking about tips for homework and assignments the biggest tip is to use your calendar, plan ahead, and get each assignment done at least a day before it's due. This ensures that you won't accidentally miss a deadline, especially if it's in the middle of the day. Like, I have a quiz due at 5 p.m. today, and if it wasn't in my calendar, I definitely would have missed it. Chegg is another good tool for confusing homework. You can put in your question and see how others answer it or submit a question that you're confused about and a pro will answer it for you. This is especially useful if you no longer have a tutor or classmates to work on stuff with. Next, I'm going to be giving you guys tips about studying. First, you can make a study schedule for each class and basically write down what studying you wanna do each day leading up to the exam or you could add the studying time to your calendar to make sure it doesn't conflict with work and classes so you have a lot of time to do your homework or to study 
If you have a hard time getting focused, consider studying before or after the lecture when you're already sat down and focused at your designated spot. And if you have a hard time staying focused for long, consider breaking up work time throughout the day, possibly studying for an hour earlier in the day and an hour later in the day. And just plan this all in your calendar and try to keep yourself accountable so you can check it off. Stage three is obvious, but it's really important and that's keeping up. Follow your schedule and update it regularly. The first thing you should do each morning is get ready and then check your calendar to see what you need to get done so you don't miss anything. Be sure to keep up with email updates from your professors daily to be sure that you don't miss anything. This is one specific case where I use Grammarly a lot. When I email professors, I want to sound as concise and professional as possible, especially if it's about my test accommodations or my research. I honestly wouldn't be able to do that without the help of Grammarly. Keep up with posts on your student portal if you have one, and if you tend to miss emails, make sure that you plan ahead so that doesn't happen. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to support the channel and sign up to get Grammarly Premium for 20% off with the link in the description. As always, I love and appreciate you all, and I'll see you next week in another video. Peace out guys.